Hey guys, uh, Naisha here. Just an average girl, you know. And, um, if you recall in one of my previous videos, um, I told you about what I have, uh, Tarlow cyst disease and where I have difficulties sitting and standing and all kinds of neurological stuff. But, um, in, uh, in my last video, I said that I was going to, um, let you guys walk, I was going to walk you guys through to show you what, um, it's like to, to have it and what an episode is like. And so, um, yeah, I'm having an episode. Uh, what does it feel like? It, it sucks. And honestly does. Because, like... Everything from the hip down is just in pain. I just finished icing, nothing. I took a leave, which, you know, it helps it. But then once that leave goes away, it just comes right back. And it's just like a dull, throbbing, you know, pain. And it's just, it's annoying. So you could clearly see why, um... I haven't posted up anything since January. Well, I can't say that. Um, I have been having some episodes every now and then, which would render me, you know, as you can see, in bed. But there has also been a lot of other things that has been going on. Nothing bad. Actually, um, a couple of projects. And... Um, I will definitely let you guys know come next month um, to what they are because um, I don't want to jinx anything. I'm, I'm really excited about it because, you know, it's been a long time coming. But, um, yeah, I even had, like, before the end of January, I was uh, ready to put together a Steven Universe episode from um, the heart and mind. And um, I know it's been a while. I'm still going to post it up. It's just that, you know, I have to, I have to deal with this. And, you know, it's just really annoying because, you know, there's so many things to do and you're rendered, you're, you're, you're rendered helpless. You're in bed. So, um, there are times when laying back on your side is uh great it helps alleviate it or at least you know what i do is um i get a, a little ice bag so this is my little ice bag that i use to help my back and sometimes depending on the pain sometimes it will come up even to my uh, the back of my neck and uh, in which i have to use two ice bags uh sometimes i will get um throbbing migraine like headaches where the light is too much and I'm pretty much in the dark with two ice packs and, you know, just hoping and praying God for it to go away. Um, sometimes I will use a TENS unit, but uh, lately it feels like the TENS unit hasn't been doing much. I'll, but, you know, it, it comes and it goes. But, yeah. It, this is what I have to do with sometimes. And... I thank God that it doesn't occur during work because I still work full time. I work 12 hours at a hospital as a secretary and um, normally, normally secretaries are supposed to be sitting down. Me, majority of the time I never do. I choose not to. I always make sure that I get up, walk around and um, help out with, uh, you know, passing out waters to patients, but that's about it. So. Um, yeah, it's, th this is one of the, um, this is one of the problems of having Tarlow cyst disease. And it was really, really hard to talk about this in my last video, let alone showing you what an episode is like, because... You know, sometimes it honestly does make me feel helpless. Like, you know, I'm not capable of taking care of myself. Because sometimes, 
you know, if I catch myself quick enough, I can be able to gather the bag of ice and, you know, just get everything, you know, ready for me. So that way when it comes, I'm already in position and I know what to do. Other times, um, I have to ask for help and I'm very appreciative of it. I really, really am because I don't know where I would be or what I would do if I don't catch it on time and, you know, I, I, I need help sometimes. Um, how long does this last? Uh, sometimes it varies. Sometimes I can go, uh, maybe a couple of days dealing with this or one day and then I'll be fine. Um, when it's my women's time of the month, that's when it gets worse. It gets unbearably worse. I mean, it's inflamed and, you know, I'm, I'm irritable. I'm, I'm irritable times 10. On the side, I've also been doing, I, I, I have been doing other stuff. In fact, um, let me see if I can find it. This little guy right here. Um, what this is, is, uh, it's a badge that I have decorated with, um, with rhinestones and um this is something that i've been doing for i think i want to say three or four months i have an etsy store i um i call it bella bling badges and um this is of course one of the badges that i did for uh tarlow cyst disease as uh this is the month of february and um February 28th is Rare Disease Day, but for me, I like to consider it the whole month Rare Disease Month. And the ribbon for Rare Disease is the zebra. There is another website where it's supposed to be blue jeans, but the blue jeans came way after the zebra print. So um, that's why I prefer to use the zebra print versus the blue jeans. So... Um, you know, I love making these. This is a little side job when I'm not working and, you know, I, I've i done just different kinds of uh, badges. I, I love doing these because it's, you know, it's a stress reliever at times and I really, I really enjoy it. I do different types for whether you're a banker, whether you're a teacher, whether you even work at Walmart at a grocery store. Or, or, or something like that. You know, I make these for, for jobs that use these types of badges. And not just for women, too. I also um, make them for guys as well. And um, you can find these on my Etsy store. And um, whatever colors, your favorite colors, whatever, you know, the designs that I have, you can use them, change the colors, just whatever. Um... It's just, I, I have to deal with it. Um, again, like I said, there are some people that, you know, choose surgery. I have chosen the natural way because there are stories where some have had successful stories, others have not. And like I said before, it's a 50-50 it's chance. You don't know if you're compatible. You don't know if, you know, you can... Um, if it'll grow back, it's, it's a risk. It's a high risk because the higher, you know, it's a risk that can take your ability to walk or ability to have a uh, somewhat of a normal life. And I don't want that. I don't want to chance that. Um, Like I said, I'm still not giving up on this channel, and um, I hope you haven't given. I hope you still haven't given up on me. I thank you for being patient with me. I thank you that you are coming along with me on this, and um, yeah, this this is what I deal with. Um, what other things I can do? Well, um. Other than surgery, I have done 
physical therapy. That's what I'm doing right now, actually. And um, unfortunately, the different methods that I've tried has not really alleviated the pain. As you can see, I, I guess the reason why this has flared up is because of physical therapy. Uh, we were trying something new. Um, again, some people have had successful, su su again, some people have had successful stories where they do physical therapy and, you know, they go through the pain and, and, you know, they become better. So I am trying that as well. And I'm hoping that the more times I do the physical therapy, do the exercises, this will also go away. So I'm not shooting it down just yet. I'm giving this month a try, an opportunity to see how well the exercises are working. But if it's to the point where it has rendered me to the point where I cannot bear it anymore and it's worse than what I'm already in now, then there really, I don't know what other options that might, well, my primary wants to do a nerve test and see where the source is obviously I know but like I said before doctors try to rule out everything else before believing that the tarlof cyst is the main cause of my problems because doctors don't believe that tarlof cyst is a problem they have dubbed it as you know you're born with it and you know which is true some people are born with it but people who are born with it may never get to have this which they consider lucky they should be considered lucky because once it awakens once you know whatever you do somehow whether it's an accident whether it's lifting or, or, or pulling something and it comes to life and, and awakens you I wouldn't wish this on my enemy my worst enemy I wouldn't wish it so um so yeah so this is what has been going on since uh, the end of January to now. Uh, just back and forth, uh, having to deal with uh, constant pain, being in bed, um, working, and um, the other couple of projects that I'm doing that I will not reveal until next month. And so um, I can't wait to, to tell you guys uh, what it is next month. I'm very, very excited. And I'm really happy. I look forward to, to what's going to be uh, happening next. And um, until then, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and, and sign off here. But uh, like I said, for anyone who wants to, you know, donate to the Tarlow Cyst Disease Foundation, I'm going to leave a link below. Um, for anyone who wants, you know, whether the Tarlow Cyst Disease badge, for anyone that you know that has them, or um, just any badge that you're interested, I'll also leave my Etsy page on the, uh, in the description below. I'll be posting that uh, Steven Universe uh, heart and mind, my, my thoughts on it, even though it's been a while, but um, I'm still going to post it up just for, the, just for the show of it. And so, um, yeah, whoever sees, I, I, I appreciate it. Who, whoever subscribes, thank you. And uh, so, guys, I will go ahead and um, sign off here and I will I'll see you in the next round. Until then, guys, stay tuned. <laughs>